Okay, so Andy Piper again here, and uh, I'm here at the Piston Cloud Computing um, booth. Now, Piston Cloud, Christopher, is uh, well known, I believe, for being a, a company based on the OpenStack infrastructure as a service. So, um, tell us a little bit about how you guys got started and, and what you guys have announced recently. Okay, so Joshua McKenty and I started, or, sorry, we met at the OpenStack Summit that kicked off the project between NASA and, and Rackspace. And I was at Rackspace, and Josh was the chief architect at NASA Nebula, and he built NASA Nebula as the chief architect, oh, and I cool. was working on the Slicos project, which was Rackspace's cloud servers. It was pre-OpenStack, OpenStack, right? So, so you guys literally started, you right. know, some of the some of the guys who founded the OpenStack, uh, you know, movement, really. Right, that, that's correct. And we started the company last year to basically bring OpenStack out of the service provider market and bring it to enterprises so that they could use private cloud in their enterprise and have something that was based on standards that they could move back and forth between hybrid, or in a, in a hybrid way, back and forth between private cloud where they needed stuff to be local and fast, or local and secure, and public cloud where it was cheap and it didn't matter what, what was there. Okay, so um, that's that's really awesome stuff, because I mean, OpenStack, not completely straightforward. I mean, as, as any, you know, infrastructure virtualization and, and cloud service, it's got a number of moving parts, right? So, um, you know, uh, Cloud Foundry, what's, what, what's all that about? I mean, how, how are you guys working uh, with this, the next layer up, the platform as a service layer? So we worked with the Bosch team, your team, to develop a cloud provider interface for OpenStack so that you could be able to deploy Cloud Foundry on top of OpenStack. Wow. Whether that would be in a Piston Enterprise OpenStack distribution or deployment, or on Rackspace's cloud, or on HP's cloud, it didn't, it didn't matter. It was something that was open source and wanted to contribute that back to, so that everybody could be using the what is the best in breed uh, platform as a service layer on what we consider the best in breed infrastructure as a service layer. I, I, I'm liking the best in breed bit. So, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so what's new? So, so you, you, you guys, have, so Bosch is, is our continuous deployment or our, our, our tool for managing deployments of Cloud Foundry, and you guys have uh, really contributed the, the the CPI, the cloud provider interface that enables Bosch to talk to OpenStack. I um, really appreciate you guys working with us on that because I know that was um, a, a, a really nice piece, nice piece of work, and I've seen the demos of that. It, it looks great. Uh, so, so what's new? I mean, I, I read some stuff. I think in the last couple of weeks that, that has been announced. Yeah, we recently announced a freemium distribution of our Piston Enterprise OpenStack that we call Airframe. It's basically, we took out some of the more enterprise class features like live migration and uh, live scale out mm -hmm. and made it possible to for people to try out OpenStack with our turnkey installer without having to go and talk to our sales guys and stuff. Right. So we're integrating that with Cloud Foundry. So we have an image that you that gets registered when you create the cloud that you can download. And it's basically a virtual machine that includes Bosch and Cloud Foundry, so you can install those and deploy them to your cloud. So from, wow. from the perspective of the, your end user, you get this VM, you install it, and then a few minutes later, maybe after these VMs have come up running Cloud Foundry, right. you're able to start deploying your applications to it. Right, so, so that's that's really awesome. I'm looking forward to uh, giving that a try. You guys have given me one of your, your really neat little uh, very stylish, I think. Uh, probably the most stylish uh, USB stick I've ever seen. Um, uh, key, uh, USB stick here. So yeah, absolutely loving the, the look of the booth here. I see you've got an award as well from uh, VMworld this year, which is pretty awesome. Well done. Yeah, thank you. We won the best private cloud technology at VMworld, which is kind of awesome. Yeah, very awesome. OK, and uh, anything else? Any, any kind of things that you can share with us about directions or thoughts or what kind of stuff you're working on, not necessarily specific to Cloud Foundry? Obviously, you're still um, heavily involved with the OpenStack community. Yeah, we're driving forward a lot of in integration with some of these storage vendors, so the traditional storage to bridge the gap between the new hotness of building scale-out cloud and what they've invested it already, building their SAN, spending multiple millions of dollars trying to develop these or trying to integrate these technologies. And also working on driving to Essex. We're trying to be the stable enterprise OpenStack. So we want to be about six months behind. So we're releasing that soon. And look so, so, Essex, so Essex is one of the, the distributions or one of the versions, right? One of the releases of OpenStack. So you guys go with, I believe, uh, kind of uh, code names that go in alphabetical order and Essex is what the one before or the most recent or so Essex was released in April and the one that work that OpenStack is currently working on is the Folsom release that gets released in September got it and so we want to be six months behind that and we're working on getting that released and also looking forward to working more closely with VMware to integrate some of the VMware technology into into Piston Enterprise OpenStack excellent so thank you very much Christopher really appreciate you spending the time with thank us thank you Andy no worries yeah. take it easy Thanks.